brilliant idea of using robots to cut hair. The Malaysia Automotive Robotics and IoT Institute developed the technology and the franchise model. Aided by a government subsidy to entrepreneurs under the Kita Kayakan Kita stimulus package, robotic barbershops sprouted nationwide like burger stalls. Initially, skepticism abounded, with many snide and frankly unimaginative remarks appearing on social media like, you may end up with just one a year. Taking a leaf out of Singapore's experience in introducing new water, Malaysia's Prime Minister and other top government officials appeared on TV getting a robotics haircut. This was followed by celebrity endorsements. Things snowballed from there, or hairballed if you like. The setup is simple. Customers sit within a cylindrical glass tube where robotic arms snip swiftly and efficiently like Edward Scissorhands. You can choose from up to 30 hairstyles and growing. Sensors on the blades ensure that only hair will be cut. You can even adjust it to cut only white hair if you wish. If you still worry that you might get hurt accidentally, you can purchase a haircut insurance policy from Post Malaysia. Unidirectional airflow from overhead pushes the cut hair and air particles down into an air vent at the base of the barber chair. Even hair on the hair cutting cape slides down as easy as a baby's drool. For your entertainment, there's a screen monitor that reflects like a mirror when switched off and can play TV shows, movies and the radio when switched on. I hear one cinema operator plans to introduce robotic haircuts for moviegoers. Watch a flick and get your hair cut at the same time. But they're still working out how to prevent hair from getting into the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs>